I see evolution as a gift to faith. Uh, I, have, I come from an evangelical background, and many people in that uh, background, in those kinds of circles, are a little bit threatened by evolution. But I actually see it as a gift, because evolution tells us that there is a movement in history in which I think God creates through the evolutionary process, and that things aren't already fixed and settled. That because God is interacting in the world through a variety of different mechanisms, a variety of different creatures over long periods of time, that this God is working with us and the world toward a better future. Now, there's along the way, there's suffering, there's death. That's part of the world in which we live. But the nice thing about an evolutionary picture, at least combined with the essential kenosis I have, is we don't have to blame God for setting up this system in which there's going to be a lot of death. Rather, God's always been creating, and in the process, creatures are cooperating or not cooperating over long periods of time to bring us to where we are now, and who knows where the future is going to be. So I see evolution as a positive thing, not a negative thing for uh, theologians. I think one of the things that bothers some theologians, or at least Christians, especially those in the pews, when they think about evolution, is that they've been told that evolution is entirely random, that it's all about chance, mut random mutations and chance. And there is an important aspect of randomness in the evolutionary picture, but it's not entirely random. And so we need to have a full orb theory of evolution in which as a person who believes in God, I think God is involved, but there's also freedom. There's also law-like regularities. It's a full picture of the way the world is emerging that includes randomness, but also includes other necessary factors in the evolutionary story.